So it's time to unlock another character in Ultimate Alliance 3. This time we'll be doing the Infinity Trial and Loki's locked behind it. Now you need to beat the entire Black Order, so that's all five bosses and it's one after the other. Thankfully it's not all at the same time, they do come in in waves. Now you'll notice up the top right the clear rewards is already actually activated for Loki. The reason being I've uh, done this in the first instance and my recording didn't actually work unfortunately. So I've already unlocked them but I'm still going to play it through it again here so I can show off actually going up against the, the Black Order one after the other. So the team I'm using is the same one I've used in previous trials. It's Deadpool, Spidey, Scarlet and Hawkeye and they're all round about level 75. So we'll go through the gameplay and then once we've done that what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll quickly show off Loki and his skills as well. And I can say in advance that he does have illusion skills which is pretty awesome. So let's now jump into the gameplay. Start. You actually did it! You should have worked twice before challenging me! No chance this is just a misunderstanding. Oh, 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 oh,
you can heal from any horrific wound. No, wait. That's me. Feel Does, my it Does it burn? Does it feel like the end? was wrong. I didn't have a threat at all. There we go, we managed to get the 2 star rating there, so it went relatively well, I misjudged the number of bosses and I thought after the 4th boss, Corvus Glaive, I was actually done and then we had the final one drop in there, so that did catch me a little bit off guard. But that's Loki unlocked, so let's quickly show off his kit now. For anyone that is curious, then he actually unlocks at level 45, so that's pretty nice there, you can drop him straight into your team normally. Now if we look at the skills here, first one is Dark Magic, so release three balls of magic energy that track their target, it's ethereal damage this does, and the synergy trait is burst. So next up we have Deep Freeze, 
This particular one here releases frigid air upon enemies in front of the character and its ability attribute is ice, this can actually freeze characters. It's ethereal again so that's good because it makes it easier to actually gear for them if it's the one damage type. We have Mystic Vortex next, this one is actually energy but that falls under mastery as well so that's great. He waves his staff, creates a tornado in the area for a short amount of time, this is classed as whirlwind for the synergy trait. And then finally we have Frost Illusion, so you create two mirror images that cast freezing spells. Now some of the other spells and I've tested them out, he actually does cast illusions with them as well. So that is okay there, it certainly looks pretty interesting. If you would like to see a gameplay video, let me know in the comments below and let me know what type of gameplay video you would like to see. Would you like to see a short two minute edited one where I try to put in some nice graphics or would you like to just see perhaps 10 minutes of unedited pure Loki gameplay? But let me know. And I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you all again soon.